got to lower our power poles down and everything to get under here. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's going to be a tight fit. I don't know if that motor. I'm scared. I'm more worried about my motor now. It ain't gonna fit. Go tilt it all the way down. Oh, someone's gotta sit in the back, maybe. Hey, work this thing. What is it on the end? Hopefully the water level won't rise at all. What's up, everybody? Blue Gabe, I'm with Mike Shrimp Co. and Kelly Young. Mike is also Real Cool Adventures on YouTube and has some of the coolest YouTube videos there are. It's all real, it's all action packed, there is no faking. He swims in the most alligator infested gnarly swamps to get huge iguanas and snakeheads. It's just that away a little ways is the actual Everglades. We're in a canal system in a big farming area way down south in South Florida. Did I mention I have Kelly Young behind the camera? Yes. Okay, I got Kelly Young behind the camera. We got the pro drive. We just went under a crazy bridge we're pulling up to right down here. For those of y'all that watched Jeremy for dinner and you saw his, I don't know, second to the last snakehead video when he put the little John boat in the water and I ran and dove over him and landed in the canal. We're gonna pull up here and throw my 12 foot sardine cast net and see what we catch. We're in the land of exotics. There's parrots. What just squeaked? Parrots. Oh parrots, my they wanna be on the video. The parrots? Yep, they're building a nest. Shoelace in his face. Oh my goodness. There's everything you can imagine in here. We're going to see what we can catch with these nets. We got two nets, so if one gets hung up, Mike's already volunteered to get in and get it. If not, Kelly will back him up. Yeah. What can we catch? Honestly, I have no idea. There's everything that you've ever seen in a fish tank is thriving in this area and lives right here. So we're going to find out. How'd they Gabe, get in here? From the pet trade. Everything came from the pet trade. And, and I really think a lot of it is after the hurricanes, when people lose power, you know, you take your pet and you don't want to kill your pet. You lose power, the bubbler's not working, and you dump them in the canal. And you're going to see tonight why you should never do that. We got to go up and over this orange thing right here. Look over that coral rock. all I needed to do. I can put the trolling motor back in and drag right across the canal. Every person who says that, who comes in this boat, says that. Hey, these push poles are hung up. Push down on it. So these non-native species that are down here, almost all of them gulp air. He said earlier today, these two culverts that we're coming up on were flowing out of the farm. He pulled up here at lunchtime and there was a bunch of clown knives rolling, um, snakeheads, uh, plecos, you name it. We're about to see what's there. I've wanted to do this video forever. I know, he calls every week. Let's go to that canal. And he's also so confident that there's big stuff in here that might ruin his net that he asked me if I had a net we could use. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. Much better that time. I don't feel anything hitting it. They're slippery and they can also swim backwards, remember that. So you're not gonna feel them in the net. You've gotta cinch the bottom. Let's see if we got anything. I might have scared everything with that first throw. Nothing. This canal is not near as deep as I thought. Let's go, uh, let's go jump the wall and go to where you want to go.
a jaguar. A jaguar. That's as cool as a clown knife. Another. Some other weird stuff. Well, guys, if we can't catch a clown, if we can't catch a clown, we can catch this. It does taste really good. This is probably the coolest of all cichlids right here. Let's go pick Kelly up. We have yet to catch a clown knife. Ooh. Ow, ooh, ooh. But we have we have a spotted tilapia. Oh, it's so cute. Yep, so cute. Yet so non-native. All of these fish though are really good to eat. We've got a little tilapia. Cute. We've got this is a native native gizzard shad. We're turning him loose because we don't want him to die. And this one, bass in Lake Okeechobee. Whoo, they love those things. Really good catfish bait too. Man, there's something big in there. Oh gosh. You guys that love to eat panfish up north, if y'all ever get a chance to catch these, whoo, they're fun. Here's my favorite though. Oh He's the meanest. Nope, this is, that's, that's tilapia. Let's see. Right here. Yes. That is the coolest fish down south out of all the non-native species to me. Their teeth. Yeah, they got big teeth. Let's see if I can. I can't really see. It's so dark. That's a cool fish right there. I'm actually gonna keep him alive and put him in my brother's artificial pond. He'll never be able to get into back into the environment, but we will get to and enjoy him. Oh, oh no, gosh. come on, Tramco. What do you need? Let's dump this water and get some fresh water. Look at that sunset, though. So a lot of people think when we're filming YouTube, everything's always easy. Let's dip a little bit. Just a couple gallons. Let me explain something to you. It ain't ever easy. The only easy video I think I've ever filmed was the last cast netting video when we were gigging or catching all those catfish and stuff out of that gator hole in the river. Other than that, they never come easy. What if we tied the nets together and swam them in a circle? Sane, like a big old sane net. An insane net. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Like seriously! Jeez. They're mocking us now. <laughs> that just happened. That just happened. I said, bro, you missed a spot. This net is so heavy. That net is half the size of the canal. That fish is half the size of the canal. What do you, I don't understand. Do you think that they're swimming under it or what? I <laughs> know they're really hard to get. They can swim backwards as fast as they can forward. So they can come, you throw the net, and then they peel out in reverse. Y'all see that right there? It might not look like much, but I, I guarantee you it'll be good in the fryer. You're going in the fryer, I hate to tell you. Oh. You too. <laughs> The only one that's going to live is that cool jaguar cichlids. You can't kill those things. You can leave them in that thing till tomorrow. Yes, you can leave them in a bucket Crazy. and they'll survive <sighs> for two days. I might not survive another couple throws though. When this pandemonium or whatever thing happened first started, my daughter and I came and cast in a bunch of fish because we thought the world was coming to an end. And I put them in the fish tank and then I ate one of those out of the fish tank. And I still can't, can't get the taste out of my mouth. <laughs> Are you like, saying it didn't taste good? Tastes like a wet mop sponge. Wait, you ate it after it was in the fish tank? Yeah. Ooh, you yeah. Let it marinate in the Ugh, it's pondy. about two weeks. <laughs> I don't recommend it. Well, the wet maybe, I don't know. Tasted like canned fish food. <laughs> That's a big joker right there. Tactic number three. Walk slow so you don't feel you. He's been rolling right off this grass. Do it. As soon as I throw, he's going to roll right there. <laughs> oh, 
probably. That wasn't him. No, Look at that thing right down there. Oh my goodness. This is stressful. Way easier to throw off a of land. Bunch of stuff in it, I know that. There's something in it. I see its tail right there. Oh my goodness. Stuff on a rock. Alright, babe, you stay here. You want me to hold the net? Oh no, boy. I'm gonna get right in the boat. That's what everybody wants to see. They don't <laughs> care about that thing. They want to see you get attacked. There are some big alligators in this canal. I know, that's why I'm in the boat. <laughs> oh, there's a boil in the net. And now I'm back on land. Ooh. It's only a brand new $400 net. What? No biggie. That's a $10 net. I shouldn't have brought it. I know that. I worked too hard for this money. I'll lose that pit. Ping, ping, ping. <sighs> yeah! What do I got? I don't know, but... <gasps> you got a... Tail. Oh my gosh! Snake head or it's a big snake head. Is it a I got a fish? snake head? Yeah! Don't that lose might it. be What's... what we're seeing wrong. Whoa! Oh my goodness! And is, is that a sunshine? Trying no. To bite the boat. Where's the big thing? In the bottom by your feet. You let the other big one out. Nah, did I? The clown knife that got away. <laughs> what was? Is the snakehead still in there? Yeah. I didn't see no snakehead. Yeah, I never. One is in the bottom of the boat. Oh yeah, I got a snakehead! <laughs> we just right. cast netted a snakehead! A little late to the party. <laughs> oh my goodness. Here, let's get her in here. 150 pounds of Pull up there. Jill. Pull ahead. Alright. Good boy. I'm just gonna make a leap of faith. Watch out. Leap of faith. I'll video it. Get your <laughs> Thanks. Alright, now we got something worth talking about. Alright. We still don't have our targeted species, but we did just catch something that's probably my favorite fish to eat. Don't let him bite you. Those things, dude, snake heads are like humans. They act just ah! like a, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Always gotta be playing. They're gonna take your fingers right off. Dude, that's cool. That is cool. But we still got more in this net. So what native stuff have we caught? A speck and a bait fish? And a couple little teeny oh, bluegills. Man. About 150 pounds of God only knows what. A little bit bigger cichlid. That's the perfect size to eat. Mm -hmm. Tastes like snapper. Tilapia. If you guys could only smell the mud that I have on me right now, you'd be gagging at home for sure. But here's our pride and joy. Step on that little not him. This guy. Oh my gosh, he's gonna be so slippery. Oh yeah. So he bites you in the knuckles. Uh, look at that. So cool. There's the bullseye. I've now caught and killed northerns and the bullseye. Northerns are up in, I guess, Virginia, all up the coast towards Maryland. I think even in the Maine. And the bullseye are in a much smaller area. They're just down here in South Florida. I think it's been pretty successful, even if we don't get a knife. No, we're gonna get a knife. Your shirt says so. What is it? Success. Yeah. Yeah, but do I have to shower tonight before I go to bed? Yes. Either way, or you you're dinner. sleeping with Luke. Like 10 pounds of meat. Blue tilapia. Hey, we caught a native fish. Woo. We caught the last native fish in the Literally, camp. Literally, <laughs> we caught the last native fish besides the Take crappie. A of him. Bye bye, buddy. You're gonna get eaten by all the other fish tanks. So. Sorry. I think that big thing popping is snake hits. You are up your rocker. No way. Nope. What if I said I don't have a rocker? Yeah, well. He doesn't. You guys check out 
real cool adventures. I promise you, you won't be disappointed with his videos. If you guys think we should come here with a giant seine net that'll go all the way across the canal, have Gabe swim across, wrap it around that whole thing to find out what's in there, leave that in the comments below. We'll come back and do that. For real. How about that? Since we can't cast at them, or if you know a better way of what we're doing wrong, tell us. There ain't nothing we can be doing wrong. I'm doing throwing the wrong. nicest, a, that's like a commercial fishing sardine net. They don't get any nicer than that. I saved my money forever to get it. No, I hear you. It's pretty and everything, but these fish can swim backwards. Well, why do you have me out here trying to catch fish? I'm going to throw the net. I want to see if you can do fish it. Fish that can swim backwards. Oh, boy. You know what we need to do? Dynamite. We're going to get some dynamite and come back here. <laughs> Oh, oh we got one more cichlid. No, two more cichlid. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oops. All right, so I know you're probably expecting me to cook one of those awesome fish, but I'm not. That video aggravated me to death. When I showed up down there with Mike, I just knew I was going to catch a ton of these. So I've yet to show you exactly what we were talking about with the clown knife fish. That's the fish we were there to catch. I was for sure I was going to catch a bunch of them. I just knew it. There was no backup plan other than those. Thankfully, we caught a bunch of cool fish, the snakehead and whatnot, but I will be back. So I'm going to end this video right now before I even do anything else because I'm going to come back with vengeance. I'm going to go down there and I'm going to figure out how to catch those clown knife fish in a cast net. A lot of people's done it with rod and reel. I just love catching things in cast nets. I think it's pretty awesome. And you get a bunch of bonus fish, fish that you might not otherwise catch on rod and reel. But one cool thing I can tell you guys is we now have a P.O. box to where you guys can send us fan mail. If you have a product that you want us to try or anything along those lines. As long as you keep it classy, we're also going to start Mailbox Mondays. And on Mondays, we're going to go there, open things, and show you guys what people send us. If you're a kid and want to send us an awesome picture of you catching a fish, if you're a person who makes something that you want to put on our channel, if we like it, we'll definitely do it. But on Mailbox Mondays, we're going to show you guys everything that comes in that P.O. Box, and I'll have that in the link below this video. If you're watching on TV, you'll probably have to go to your phone. Go right underneath the video to the descriptions and you'll find the P.O. Box address. And also a bunch of promo codes for all of my sponsors where you can save money. You'll find my old salty reels, Danko knives and hats like you always see me use. Right now though, Kelly's at the gym working out. I need to cook dinner. I'm actually just cooking some chicken tonight. You guys, thanks for watching. Don't be disappointed just yet with this video because I'm coming back with another one. But right now it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape.